Uh, what's the deal with those guys down in the pit? They're musicians. What's the deal with Toby? Because he's cool. Oh, f Guess you got to pay him more money. Is that how it is? The cooler you are, the more money they have to pay you. Is that what it is? Toby wants 40 mil? Holy f Let's take what you just said there. 40 million. Okay. Who knows if that's the number? I don't know if that's the number because it's actually 50 million. But listen. That's the number. Do you really think they would pay him $50 million for one movie? If we're, if we're talking about all the different possibilities all the different scenarios here everything that's going on if you really take a look at it and you try to think of it contextually the only thing that makes sense is that they don't want toby to come back and show up for five seconds in that spider-man movie there's no god way you're paying somebody 50 million dollars to do that they want him to be in this movie to go do something spider-verse like over at sony and then to also be in Doctor Strange 2, Into the Multiverse of Madness. They want, like, all the Toby, okay? Now, if we go through some of the other things that have happened, he was spotted in L.A. getting a costume fitting, okay? It's obviously for Spider-Man. So here's the thing that I want to indicate. I want to sort of just be super open about this as much as I can be and as much as I know. What I think is going on is we're in late-stage negotiations and... Look, Toby's just holding out for whatever particular reason. I don't know exactly what it is. They probably have a, a contract in front of him that's massive. You know, he's he's got his people looking at it, you know, all the, all this kind of stuff. Like, it's just, it's a huge rotating crazy thing. But, but what I'll tell you is this. It's not impossible that they have footage of him as Spider-Man. Now... Do you all know about how there was a lot of talk of getting a look at Spider-Man 3 before the end of the year? Do you guys remember this? Remember the, how this was all over the internet? Yeah. Like, you know, not everybody knows like where this stuff comes from. That actually came from a Sony producer, an actual producer for Sony. Okay. Also, there was a... Because Sony, Sony Columbia, I think, are like either the same company or they work so closely in distribution. They might have like a distribution LLC or something together. But the point is, um, there was also an official social media post for a Sony or a Columbia account that talked about... To, it, it basically was talking about Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom Holland, and it had something to do with Christmas. They wanted this announced by Christmas. They wanted they wanted to do. Remember when I made the stream last week, and I was like, Toby could do a Christmas miracle. You know, it's a Christmas miracle. It's possible that they have it, and literally all we're waiting for is pizza time. Come on, man, it's pizza time, Toby. It's pizza time. Pizza time. So that's one thing. Hopefully that happens. That would be dope, dude. I just gotta say, gotta hand it to Sony for being able to let Disney know that you can't buy the rights to everything. Recently, Disney has been trying to monopolize a lot of things. Yeah, that's totally fair. But I'll say this. So a lot, not a lot of people know about this, but what happened with the rights to all of these characters is that Marvel actually w went bankrupt twice in the 90s. Twice, not once, twice. And they made a massive bet actually marvel the company they actually got a private bank loan this is crazy dude they got a private bank loan from a european bank for 500 million dollars they got a big old loan man 500 million dollars and even before that here's what's crazy okay before that they had sold off the licenses to certain characters, including the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Spider-Man. Those were considered to be the most valuable licenses that Marvel had. And they sold them because they were broke! So then, when they try to, when they're then trying to make the studio, they have to go around and buy the licenses back. But they couldn't afford the Spider-Man license. They couldn't afford the X-Men license. They couldn't afford the Fantastic Four license. 
because they were broke. But the point is, man, Marvel has got a lot going on, man. They are moving. They are moving and they are making some big moves. I think when it comes to Spider-Man 3, y'all, like people don't even realize how crazy this movie is going to be. And that's weird to say because it almost seems like all we're talking about is how weird that movie is going to be. But like every time something crazy comes out about it, everybody says it with like this little winky face kind of thing where they're like oh yeah and that's merely the icing that's the tip of the iceberg you don't even know how crazy it's gonna be you know this is how crazy spider-man 3 is gonna be you know who the villain is us you're gonna walk into the theater and like 20 minutes into the movie you're gonna realize that like you've seen every villain or whatever and then all of a sudden, all three of the Spider-Man are going to stare at you on the big screen and be like, and it's your fault we didn't gross enough to continue these franchises. And then they're all going to sit there and just start to, and before you know it, like you're fighting against all of them. And the end of Spider-Man 3 is you end up in a hospital. It's probably still not as crazy as the actual movie's going to be. And the next five years, holy cow, man, just thinking about the next five years with Marvel is mind bottling let's just read some super chats so if you have any questions throw them into the chat if you have a super chat throw in there i'll answer every single super chat within reason that comes in but i'll also look at the regular chat as well mike says with the five dollar holla uh happy new year nerd vengers and broke vengers josh and the den family thank you for making this last year a little bit brighter and fun thank you for it all mike thank you what a weird year but honestly like hanging out with you guys all the time streaming so much with you guys like i essentially became a streamer this year jennifer cook says what should we call the six month badge uh chet chetonium nerdtanium nerdvengium choose well i already know that i hate Chetonium the most and therefore it is probably actually the best um, option. Alec Ortega with the $5 holla says, good morning Josh. My friend's older sister has been dating Toby for a couple of years now. My friend literally won't tell me anything. Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? Um, but if you think about it, your friend is literally safer telling someone other than you. Isn't that interesting? So email me. Big Stevie says, paid for the money shot and now have to pay for the rest is my guess. They decided they wanted more than originally negotiated. That's also possible. Negotiations are interesting things. That's also possible. My read on it, and I mean, who the f*** am I, right? But my read on it is, um, Toby will not sign as long as Pablo Hidalgo is still employed at Lucasfilm. Sorry, just he's got to go. Uh, Tyler Wakefield with the $5 holla says, doing uni work, and The Sun UK has a really interesting thing on Spider-Man 3. This installment centers around Spider-Man's romance with Spider-Woman? Is that true, dude? Because if that's true, that's wild. That is undoubtedly wild AF, if true. Billy Gunn says, Thanks for keeping me sane during the pandemic, or the pandy, while I work from home. Big fan of the channel. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate you, brother. Look, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know what I would have done without this job and without this community. I really don't. Like, what would you have done? Like, what did other people do? Because it's like, the I felt there were times where I was like, all I wanted to talk about was the pandemic, right? But I knew not only was that not my lane, I feel like that would have been super bad. It would have been a bad look for the brand as far as content, because it's like you come in looking for a nerdy escape and then you literally can't escape. And it's just one more person talking about it. I felt like that would have been really bad. Toby did this in the OG Spider-Man movies and was almost replaced by Jake Gyllenhaal. There's yeah, that's rumored. But yeah, also food for thought comic Bucky has a granddaughter from a different universe that goes by Nomad. Charles found out about a Nomad project. That's true. What does it mean? Who knows, man? You be helping me through this crap called divorce. Ooh, that's a rough one. Your energy starts my days, and I appreciate your channel. Nerd on, sir. Nerd on. Hey, thank you so much, Bondo. Uh, as someone who has lived through a very painful divorce themselves, uh, I, I have a lot of empathy for you. But also, um, there's all like things that will happen around the divorce 
you will look back at and be like, yeah, because it was a divorce and because there was horrible shit going on. Like, you got to just breathe through your heart and just make it out of this because there's going to just be a lot of bad karma around it. It just is. It, there's just going to be so much bad stuff. You're going to act horribly. She or he's going to act horribly. Family's going to act horribly. Friends are going to act horribly. Um, Just breathe through your heart and move. Keep moving. All right, everybody. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video.